Hey Time Bolters, we're in the middle of apocalypse. My hair is a little wacky right now, but this is how to automatically edit long form video with Time Bolt. You get a 15 day free trial to try it out and save yourself a bunch of edit time. So no worries there, go to timebolt.io. Make sure to order the right app for either Windows or Mac. Okay, first you're gonna select the file to open most all video and audio formats. Timebolt goes through the file to create in first an audio preview timeline. The default value to remove silence is put at 0.25. Now, if you want to keep more of these pauses, you can increase the value to more, a half a second or more. You use the filter below test to test new values if it's too much or too little of an audio wave that is captured. You use padding to add grace period to the start and end of a sound wave so that you can pre prevent early cutoff of words. The default value is 0.09 seconds. Now you can select speed up silences to speed up rather than cut out silences. For example, if you're writing on a chalkboard and how a problem develops matters. If you select the value of five, for example, any silences longer than five seconds will be sped up by two, three, or four X, not deleted. Any changes you make to the defaults, make sure to click update silence detection to save before filtering the video. Timebolt separates audio tracks and MP4 files. You can choose which tracks to exclude when filtering for sound. For example, if a gamer wants to identify all silences when they are not speaking, but the game has background audio, you can exclude the background audio, which then syncs it up at the end. Timebolt can process any length of video. To do so, our algorithms, they separate video into one hour chunks that are then combined into one file at the end. Any changes are all applied to all chunks. Change the output path where the file is saved. You can select output file size and output quality. Now the larger the file, the longer the processing time, obviously. For most video, expect a one-to-one -one filtering time frame. The algorithm first splits the audio and video, then merges each cut back into one file. You get a completed screen when it's finished. You can also export cuts into popular NLEs. Okay? You can export XML into Premiere. This generates an XML file with the same name of the input file in the same directory. Next, you open it in Premiere Pro, create a new project, call it Timebolt Test, then import the XML file from Timebolt directly into the Premiere project. You will see two types of files. One is a media file and the other is a Premiere Pro sequence. Convert the thumbnail view to a list view to get a better perspective. You can see the icons look different. Double click on the icon that looks like a timeline to open up the sequence. Now, th these are the exact jump cuts timestamps that were generated by Timebolt, and now we have them available inside of Premiere Pro. Stay tuned for future updates for Timebolt. Just about the time we get one of these videos done, we've got another large set of features to come out. We are dedicated to automating out the pointless, painstaking time it takes to edit long-form video content. Thanks for your trust.